Hey guys, it's Josh here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be taking a look at the braided solo loop band for the Apple Watch, and in this case, in the Inverness green color. The box the band comes in is pretty standard for all Apple Watch bands. It has the case size and also the band size on one end and the color and band type on the other. On the back, in fine print, is a sticker saying the band is compatible with Apple Watch SE and Series 4 or later. Inside the box we have some paperwork on where to see instructions and warranty details online and then we have a cardboard sleeve containing the band itself. Unfolding the cardboard sleeve we get a look at the band and some printed diagrams. The top left explains how to attach the band to the watch, the top middle explains how to put the watch and band on your wrist and the top right explains how to remove the band from the watch. In the middle of the sleeve is the solo loop itself and then down the bottom here is brief instructions on choosing a complimentary watch face to suit your new band. To remove the band from the sleeve, there is a small cardboard tab underneath the right side of the band. Pull that gently up and away and the band will come loose from the sleeve. Here you can see the band is quite stretchy and flexible. Apple says the braided loop is made from 100% recycled materials and the 16,000 polyester yarn filaments in each band are interwoven with thin silicon threads using advanced braiding machinery, then laser cut to an exact length. The 300D construction offers a soft, textured feel that is both sweat and water resistant. The band slides into the guide either side of the Apple Watch, just like every other band, and then you simply stretch it over your hand to put on. Straight away it felt incredibly comfortable, as there is no buckle or clasp, the profile is lower on the underside of my wrist, which is great when typing or resting at a desk. As for my sizing, I visited my local Apple store and using their measuring sticker, I was on the low side of a size 7. I tried on the size 7 and it was a tad loose for my liking, so then tried on the 6 and preferred the more snug fit. To get your sizing, Head to the Apple website where they have a printable tool, along with instructions on how you can use everyday objects to get your size if you can't print the tool. One negative about this band is the way it interfaces with the watch. As you can see here, the metal retainers on the end of the band don't go the full width of the watch casing. This is mainly noticeable when looking from the bottom or top of the watch. But when viewing the watch screen, as you can't see the metal retainer, it's barely noticeable in real world use. You can see the plastic retainer on the sport loop band here sits flush where the braided solo loop doesn't. Now here is a ranking of the bands I own from most to least comfortable. The braided solo loop is definitely the most comfortable due to its stretchy design and being a loop, it's only one layer of band on the underside of my wrist. It's followed pretty closely by the sport loop, which is slightly thicker on the underside of my wrist due to doubling up the band when fastening it. The sport band is reasonably comfortable to wear, but more difficult to put on and has the buckle on the underside of my wrist. For a more formal band, the Milanese loop is quite comfortable, but the main downside I find is sometimes it will grab the hairs on my wrist. And then finally is an eBay replica link bracelet, which is pretty inflexible and quite heavy overall. I haven't tried a genuine Apple Link bracelet to compare. As for pricing, the braided solo loop is definitely priced at the premium end of Apple Watch bands, coming in at $139 here in Australia, which is actually the same price as a Milanese loop. The Sport Loop and Sport Band are both priced at $69. I got my braided solo loop with my Series 6 Apple Watch Edition, and for me it was a $70 premium over a watch with a Sport Band or Sport Loop. So what do you think? Let me know below if you plan on picking up a new braided solo loop, or if you already have one, how do you like it? As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing as it really helps the channel grow. Thanks for watching.